Hello, boys and girls. How are we? Another day of steam. All righty, let's get started. Today, we're going to do an engineering project, and this here is based on um, tendons in your hand. You have tendons in your hand, and what we're going to do is we're going to build a robotic hand, and the robotic hand is going to be basically showing you how our tendons work in our hands, okay? So, the supplies that you would need for this activity today would be string, ribbon, um, yarn, whatever you can get for that nature, a pair of scissors, some tape, you would need straws, and you would need a hand. And preferably, a hand, if you can get it that's out of cardboard or something in that nature, would be great. Um, because that way your hand would move a lot better because versus paper, if you pull on it with the string, it would tear the paper and then your tendons are torn, okay? So we're not trying to do that. So if you can, ask mom or dad for some cardboard or something in that nature, and then you can do your robotic hand with it. Okay, first we're going to start off by when you get your cardboard paper, or your box or whatever, you're gonna take your hand, it doesn't matter, if you're right-handed, use your left hand. If you're left-handed, use your right hand. And you're gonna trace your hand. I've already done that so we can cut down on some of the time. But um, trace your hand, and once you trace your hand, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut it out, okay? Be careful with your scissors because they do have sharp points on them and you can cut yourself, so be careful when doing this. If you need assistance, ask your parents to help you with it because cardboard is kind of hard to cut. I had a hard time cutting it uh, myself and I'm an adult, okay? So yes, it is very hard to cut with um, child size scissors. Once you do that, you're gonna put a little hole in the center and you're gonna cut a little hole in the center like I've just done, okay? And what that is gonna be, is gonna be where you're yarn, ribbon, or whatever you're going to be using is going to go into that hole. Once you do that, you're going to take your hand and put it here. And if you look at your hand, you have different sections in your hand. You have one, two, three in this finger, one, two, three in this finger, one, two, three in this finger, one, two, three here, and your thumb has two. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and put it on your hand and you're going to mark those slits, okay? You got one right here, one right here, one right here, okay? And the reason, it's kind of hard to see. I should have gotten a marker so that way you could see it better. Um, but I have three dots where those lines are in my hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and fold it in those three spots right there, like that, okay? And once I fold it, I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to measure from the top of the finger till that dot and cut my straw, okay? Once I cut my straw, I'm going to take some tape and I'm gonna put it on the straw and place my straw right there in the bend of that hand, okay? And you would do that all the way down the finger, okay? And let's just cut another one and do the first finger so you can see how it's supposed to look. And be careful, your straws will go flying everywhere like mine's just done when you're cutting them. Okay, so again, put your tape on your straw that you just cut and place it where the dot is, where your hand should be bending. And make sure, to make sure that your straws are lining up evenly because you're gonna need that in a second. And if you have them not in order or in the correct position, you're gonna have a hard time feeding, feeding it through. So make sure that it's all lined up correctly. 
Okay, so I did the first one for you. Now, what you're gonna do, you should have all your fingers looking like this when you get done. Your whole hand should be like this, except for on the thumb, you should have only two. And let me do the thumb for you and show you. My straws are flying everywhere. Show you what your thumb should be like. Okay. So this is what our thumb should look like, okay? So then after you've, do, you've done that, you're gonna take your string and you're gonna tie knots in the end, on one end of it. And the reason why you're doing the knots is because when you put it through your straws, you do not want your string to come all the way through when you're getting your tendons to work. So you have to do a big enough knot, or if you don't have a, um, can't do the knots then if you can ask your parents to help you and you can take a hot glue gun and glue some um, glue there and then that way it will keep it from going through the straws but let me demonstrate to you that this one here you're going to take it and feed it through the straws just like this that's why i say it's important that your straws are lined up together so that way they can go straight through and you won't have problems with trying to get it through the straws okay and just take it and take it through each one of the straws now I'm gonna show you something as soon as I stop fighting with this hand um, now, I have it all the way through my um, finger. Now, if my knot is not big enough, then this is what's gonna happen when I pull on it. It's gonna go straight through, okay? That is what we don't want, okay? So, that lets me know that my knot is not big enough for the straw. So, I'm gonna have to either continue to add knots to it, or I'm gonna find something that I can put like hot glue on it to keep it from going through because you don't want it to pull through like that. And I'm gonna show you why in a second. Okay, you have all your um, strings done and you've gotten all your knots so they won't go through your hand here. Okay, so when you get done, this is what your hand should look like. So each one of those straws are representing your tendons in your hand, okay? So what you're going to do, I have my knots at the top so they won't go through, my string won't go through my straws. You're going to take your string and put it through your hole that you made in the center. And once you do that, then you're able to... Hold your hand and cause pull on your strings and your hand should move like this. And this is how our tendons are working in our hands when we're moving our hands to do things. If yours do not do that and your string comes loose or whatever the case may be, then that's because you either don't have your knots done tight enough to where they won't go through the straws or you don't have your... Um, straws secured um, tight enough okay because your hand should do like this when you pull on it and when you let it go it should do that and yeah you have to hold it because cardboard will bend and fold on you so you know just be careful you can tear it up or whatever but this is what it should do if you have it done correctly and your straws should not be too long because if you do have them too long, your hand won't be able to bend like it should in order to form into a hand. 
So make sure you have nice short straws and make sure that your straws are lined up so that way when they're lined up correctly and you're feeding them through, they'll go straight through the straws and you won't have to take them loose or whatever. So this here is an engineering product, pro project and it is a fun one and it teaches you about how your tendons work in your hand. So with that being said, I enjoyed the session. I enjoyed making my robotic hand, and I hope you enjoy the same thing. And I hope that you are doing some of these activities that we're doing because while we're out of school, we still need to be learning. Education, education. So with that, I'm gonna end, and I'm gonna say thank you for your time, and thanks for allowing me to, to do these videos for you. And I hope when school is back and you're back at the Boys and Girls Club, you are able to show me some of the activities that I've been going over with you and doing them. All right. That's all I have for today. I want to thank you for your time. And I will be back soon with another STEAM activity for you. Thank you.